Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us for another session of Dashboard Gear Business Intelligence Tips and Tricks. Today, we're going to be talking about SQL Server Reporting Services Report Actions. Now, in some past sessions, we've covered all kinds of things in SQL Server Reporting Services uh, and how to uh, create various reports, do parameters, uh, data connections, some of those things. Today, we're talking about uh, a piece of SQL Reporting Services that I end up getting a lot of questions for after the initial implementation. So what happens is people start to build out reports and there becomes a time when you want to kind of take it to the next level and connect many reports together, or do some things within a report around animating them in some ways and so forth. Um, what I'm going to show you today is uh, report actions. Now, I've created for this session two different reports we're going to use as kind of a sample. The first, I'll go ahead and run it here, is an account unit listing. In this report, it's a simple listing, and this is for those of you that are in for customers that will recognize the term account unit. That's like a cost center uh, or a department is another way of looking at it, in that it's showing me each company and then within the companies, the various account units. So this is just a simple listing uh, style report. The other report that I created was called the account unit activity. And in this report, you can uh, specify a year and a period. I can pick a company. I can pick a uh, account unit from the list. And it will show me the accounts that had activity within that account unit. So just a pretty simple uh, listing of showing that. Well, a common use case in reporting is I'm looking at one report, let's say the account unit listing, and I want to click on an account unit and see the detail or the activity for that account unit, which is basically what this report is doing here. So I want to connect these reports together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and edit um, the account unit listing report. And what we're going to do is you're going to see that on every field or every piece of content within a report, if I right click on it, for instance, I can do placeholder properties, you're gonna see an item on there called action if you right click and do properties on it. So if you do properties, you'll see the term action. Wherever you see the term action, it's gonna allow you to define what to do when someone clicks upon that item. So right now, by default, everything is just set to none. So if you click on a description, nothing will happen. But you'll notice here, out of the box, you can have it go to a report, you can have it go to a bookmark, or you can have it go to a URL. So how do you define these actions? So what I'm going to do, how about in this report, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert a column to the right of the description in this uh, matrix. And if I click inside here, I'm just going to create a label. I'll say view activity. Now, on that label, I could, what I like to do, and it's usually a best practice, is you need to tell the user that this is a field that you're able to click on. So if I go ahead and I right click on this and do text properties, I just want to change that font to be maybe something like a blue or an underline. That way it looks kind of like a, um, it looks like a URL, something that can be uh, clicked clicked on in the report so they know that they can take action. But if I go back to these properties, I'm going to go to that action. Now, to launch another report from an action, what you do is you say, I want to go to a report. It's going to bring up some items down below here. You can specify the report, or the easiest thing to do is just do browse and pick, pick it from the list. So I'll do my account act unit activity report. And then if I did that right now and just said, OK, it's going to allow me to click on it and it's going to go to that report. But I want to take it one step further. And that is I want it to pass whatever account unit I'm on to the parameter that's in that report for account unit. So if I select the account unit parameter and I pass it the value of account unit and then I can add another link because account units in M4 are uh, keyed off of a combination of company and account unit. I need to map both of those. So it's going to pass to the account unit parameter, my account unit field value, and to the company parameter, my company parameter value. Now, when I say, okay, now if I go ahead and I um, 
go ahead and I'll just um, run this report here. Whoops. We're going to have to shrink this up a little bit. I abandoned my screen and I probably shouldn't have uh, done that. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my other um, my other option here real quick. And we're going to um, start talking a little bit about um, so we're going to stop sharing. And I'm going to go in here onto my other screen and minimize the report builder uh, down. So we're going to go report builder. And we're going to shrink that down. Just give me one second. So we're going to go down here to my other screen and I'm going to shrink, shrink that up or give me a different resolution here. All right, that should give me what I need. So now I'm going to go back into uh, StreamYard, uh, which is what we use to, to present this. And I'm going to share my screen again. All right. So there we are. So we're back here. So if I go ahead and I run this. You're not back. You're not back. All right. So we're going to share that screen here. There we go. Finish. So now you should see it with the view activity. And if I go ahead and I run that view activity button, it launches the account unit activity for that. So if I come back here, view activity, there it shows it. I can just hit the back button and go back and forth. Now it doesn't have to be on a separate piece of text. Um, as I mentioned, you can do really any of the uh, items as a link so, but here again, I recommend for just, but kind of best practices, set the font or in the underline or something just to designate that, let's say I'm on the description and I wanna do that. I just add that same report action uh, placeholder in here. So I can say, go to report, pick that report again. So we'll go into webinar, count unit activity, and then just map those parameters in as we go. So company is a company. Account unit is account unit. And we'll say, okay, and now when I run this, the same same concept can be done where I can click on, let's say, medical surgical for a, you'll notice here it passed in the parameters and ran the report just for that uh, account unit. All right, so now what I wanna do is, um, Go ahead and um, go to my next item I wanted to show you is that it doesn't just have to be a piece of data and you don't need to call other reports. I can insert other things in here. So for instance, maybe I wanna put an image on here and we'll put something like, um, we'll import uh, the dashboard gear uh, logo into it. I'll do a small one. So if I go ahead and I insert the dashboard gear logo on here, but maybe I want people to go to the homepage for that. I can do an action and a URL that can be anything like www.dashboardgear.com. Go ahead and say okay to that. Now when I run this report, what it's gonna do when someone clicks on it is it's gonna go ahead and go to dashboardgear.com as a URL. Now you can do all kinds of other um, advanced things with that. So the common use cases that I've seen people do that is a just going out to like passing it uh, parameters on like the URL you've seen in some URLs, you can pass parameters like um, the location coordinates. So you could pass it to maps, um, you know, Google maps or something like that or Bing or whatever your map tool of choice. You can do things like that. You can also embed JavaScript on those actions. 
So if you click on something, you can do JavaScript. So those of you that are, are uh, web authors uh, and want to do some more advanced things, you basically have the tools and ability to click on any item and launch JavaScript or a URL that's there. So a very powerful tool uh, that's in it. Now, as um, we always do, if that if you do have any suggestions or anything like that that you want us to uh, cover in future sessions, please let us know. But hopefully you found that report actions were a tool that you can take advantage of and uh, in your SQL reporting services endeavors. Thanks for listening and uh, look forward to uh, showing you another tip next week.